Well, it's been a good long while, but here we are. Mega Man 4 for Game Boy. Released in 1993, this game followed the formula of the previous titles on Game Boy where they'd recycled robot masters from the NES games. In this case, you have Toad Man, Bright Man, Pharaoh Man, and Ring Man from Mega Man 4 to contend with in the first wave. And after a mini stage of sorts, you confront Crystal Man, Napalm Man, Stone Man, and Charge Man from Mega Man 5. Side note, this would be the final game in the Game Boy line to recycle Robot Masters from previous NES games, as the follow-up title, Mega Man 5, would feature its own mechanized maniacs in the form of the Star Droids, or whatever they're supposed to be called, but that's another story for another time. Anyway, Mega Man 4 is pretty much old hat. You pick one of four stages, you play through them, you fight the Robot Master of the stage, you beat him, absorb his weapon, and repeat the cycle over again. Once the first four robots are dead, you play a mini-stage. Then you fight four more robot masters, you play another mini-stage, you enter a fight with the lad, the Mega Man killer of this game, and you take his weapon. And then you play a rather lengthy final level that includes multiple boss fights, the classic boss rush, and eventually the final battle with Dr. Wowie. I think that's his name. Mega Man 4 adds a couple intriguing features, like a slight kickback whenever Mega Man fires a charged shot from his default Mega Buster, which is something you have to get used to at first because no other Mega Man game I've played has this particular quirk, but it is something different I suppose. The other intriguing feature, and probably the most notable, that would go on to other games is the new shop system. The way it works is that you collect P-chips in your adventure and then use them to purchase items such as energy tanks, extra lives, and weapon balancers among other things. There's also a gimmick that you could use to recharge your weapons to maximum as they no longer do so automatically once you reach the latter half of the game. Now, generally speaking, Mega Man 4 is pretty old hat in the gameplay department, but with its additional shop mechanics, its little intermission sequences to advance the admittedly paper-thin story, the slight tweaks made to the old weapons to make them more useful, and some attempts to give the levels a bit more depth with alternate paths and hidden routes leading to special stuff, there was a genuine effort in trying to freshen up a style of play that had seemingly run its course, and this feels a bit more polished as it were. Yes, there's the occasional bits of slowdown that hits every so often, and there's that one gimmick where you need to seek out the W, I, L, and Y circuit plates to even access the final levels of the game, which happens to be a needless and fruitless addition. You'd figure killing the bosses would be sufficient enough, but I guess not. But for the most part, this feels like a subtle yet significant evolution of the classic formula. A formula that would make its way over to more advanced gaming hardware, but that's another story. Control in Mega Man 4 is unsurprisingly unchanged, so you still have that tight responsive control setup that has worked well in the past and still does here. The kickback to the charge shot is an additional bit you'd have to get used to, but it never felt truly detrimental in the game. And if you happen to be struggling with a level, and believe me, some of these levels can be pretty challenging, you'll get a bit of an additional boost from Dr. Light to help you out a bit. This special boost won't save itself into the passwords you receive upon clearing the levels or getting game overs or whatever the case may be. And the passwords have gotten a bit meatier since the last game, but at least it's workable and it's understandable. There's quite a bit of material that has to go into these passwords. Mega Man 4 looks like a Mega Man game on Nintendo. And if you know what a Mega Man game on Nintendo looks like, then you'd know what to expect from this game. I guess. The visual style is pretty much old hat, it's still relatively clean looking with some detailed looking level layouts and holds up rather well enough for the time. Some of the larger enemies are a tad smaller to fit the small display of the Game Boy, but you still have some sizable sub-bosses to contend with and they look pretty good. The Wily boss fight is actually a nice visual piece, but that's as far as I'll go. Honestly, there's not much to say here because the visuals aren't anything special. They're still pretty good looking, it's a clean style, but like I said, it's old hat at this point, and it's just business as usual. The only really new thing here are the numerous cutscenes which advance the story forward, and they're okay. That's pretty much all I got in that regard. Sound in Mega Man 4 is, again, almost on par with what came before. The majority of the tracks are recycled stage tunes from the NES games, and they are decent renditions of nothing else. The few original tracks in the game, such as the Wily stage theme and the ballad theme, are also pretty good. Sound effects are almost mostly recycled Brits from the previous game, right down to the charging sound overwhelming all sound channels to ruin the music. Not much changed there. Quality-wise, you have some good sounding sound in this Game Boy Mega Man game, and that's a good thing. 
Overall, Mega Man 4 on Game Boy is perhaps the crucial step in giving the classic line a much needed level of depth that the NES games and earlier Game Boy titles lack. The introduction of a shop system, a bit of limited exploration in the levels, some rather lengthy levels in general, perhaps a bit too long for some people, and just a nice enough polish gives the tried and true formula of the series a good healthy rehabilitation and it's just a very well made video game and solid addition to the series that's fun to play, even if it does get a bit trying at times in the difficulty. On a whole, Mega Man players who haven't had a chance to play this one should probably give it a go. The original cart might be a bit pricey these days, but I believe it's on the 3DS Virtual Console as of this recording. So yeah, Mega Man 4 on Game Boy. Great game.